study Buddhism and Chang is to care for all sentient beings, cultivate wisdom, and awaken. One must not act arrogantly, use the knowledge gained to forcefully impose one's views and claim absolute truth. Once upon a time, there was a scholar who was staying at a temple to study. He believed himself to be very intelligent and often engaged in debates with Chan Master Zhao Zhou, used his wit and cleverness, always wanting to show off. One day, the scholar asked Master Zhao Zhou, The compassionate Buddha liberates all sentient beings, always in accordance with their wishes. If sentient beings have any requests, does the Buddha fulfill their wishes? Yes. I would like to have the walking stick in your hands, Master. I wonder if you can fulfill my wish. A true gentleman does not take away what others enjoy. Don't you understand? I'm not a gentleman. I'm also not a Buddha. Although the scholar had no way to respond, he refused to admit defeat. In his heart, he was thinking about how to counter it. The next day, the scholar sat in meditation. Master Zhao Zhou passed by him, and he glanced at the master but ignored him. Young man, why don't you have any manners? When you see an elder monk, why didn't you stand up to greet him? I sit to welcome you, just as I would stand to welcome you. Upon hearing this, Master Zhao Zhou went forward and gave him a slap in the face. The scholar became extremely angry. Why did you hit me? I hit you precisely because I didn't hit you. The purpose of learning Buddhism is by no means to gather and play with advanced concepts, but to bring happiness and well-being to all sentient beings. If the starting point is wrong, no matter how much one knows, a slap in the face is needed to correct and remedy the situation. Becoming more knowledgeable day by day.